All right, so good afternoon, good evening, Sagittarians. It is Mystic Intellect, and I am here to do a reading for the collective of fire signs. Um, I did Aries, but I did that on my camera, my actual recorded camera. So I have to go ahead and download that. But we're gonna move forward with Sagittarian energy to see how you guys are feeling. What are things looking like in the love department or in career whatever spirit actually wants to talk about today okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started here all right so let's get started with sagittarian energy how are the sagittarians feeling today spirit we got the strength card then we got the confidence card we got the ghost card and then the success card so many of you guys are feeling really good about where you have where have where you've been going at this time many of you have also been making a lot of sacrifices i'm hearing with the ghost card leaving a lot of things behind that don't serve you a lot of you guys have been getting stronger spiritually lately and have been actually indulging in self-care um with disruption at the bottom of the deck i am seeing here that something unexpectedly could have happened i myself i myself as a sagittarian can speak on the fact that there's been a lot of movement and a lot of changes as well on my end. So a lot of you guys could have been either planning a move, could have already moved. Many of you guys have possibly been through heartbreaks, betrayal, or even breakups, I'm hearing from the collective. So many of you guys are going through a lot that concerns have went through a lot that concerned money, love, relationships, basically everything. But it looks like you guys have overcame because we got success here. So with the success card, Sagittarians, you guys are actually doing really well for yourselves. Give yourselves a round of applause because Spirit is saying that you went through a lot and it's showing in your strength card here. So keep up the great work, Sagittarians. So we're going to go ahead and dive deep into some tarot real quick to see what's going on with, your, with you Sagittarians at this time. What's going on with the Sagittarians in general at this time, Spirit? We got the Ten of Voices. So like I said before, with the strength card, Ten of Voices here is showing me that a lot of you guys have endured some painful endings here. A lot of you guys have had let some people, some circumstances go, had to let jobs go, had to let homes go, had to let something go that actually triggers you in a way that you never thought it would before. But you had to let it go because if you didn't, it would have... It would have did more harm than than um, keeping it near and dear to you. What's going on with Sagittarian energy? All right, ten of, ten of materials. So a lot of you guys have a lot of financial abundance coming your way. A lot of you guys are becoming more stable financially, becoming one with yourself and who you are. Many of you guys could have came into union with your person. And if you haven't, if you're single, I'm just seeing you becoming more stable within yourself and becoming more confident. We got the Wheel of Fortune here, so that's good news coming your way. Positive energy, things happening, turning around in your favor. Maybe things didn't work out before, but it will now because the tables are turning. Karma is actually here to take its course. We got the Muse of Voices, so I do see here that a lot of you guys have been... Have you, okay, they said you have been struggling with um, putting yourself first, acknowledging boundaries, acknowledging where um, something needs to take place in your life that you haven't really vocalized about. I'm also seeing that some of you guys are actually practicing detachment and also practicing, um, I heard witchcraft, interesting. Okay, so that is for some of you guys, all right? Now, we got the emperor here. So, some of you feminines could be thinking about a masculine very heavily. Or it could be a masculine in your life that could serve a heavy importance at this time. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get started with love. So, Spirit, what's going on in the love department here with the Sagittarians? Some of you guys feel like you missed out on a chance or an opportunity with somebody. But that's not true, Spirit is saying. Things just have to happen in divine order. Exactly. Six of Pentacles. Something, somebody wants to come forward and give you something. They want to give you some sort of gift. You earned this gift, though, Sagittarius. So don't... Yeah, Emperor. Emperor just came out again. That's why I like to use multiple decks because clarifiers are so important. We got the Emperor here and then we got the Emperor here. 
Yeah, spirit is basically highlighting there's a masculine energy who really wants to come forward, feminines. Yeah, five of, five of swords. Many of you guys could have been feeling very defeated. Many of you guys could have, like I just said before, feeling like you were at loss. But spirit is saying, no, you're not at loss. Spirit is basically playing the judge here of how you handle this separation. With, yeah, three of, three of wands. Many of you guys are going to find out that your person is going to be traveling towards you. Um, somebody is in a, rela a long distance relationship. I'm seeing somebody ca catching a flight. Catching a flight, and I'm also seeing a trip between the two of you, whoever is in the Sagittarian energy here. Yeah, somebody wants to commit to you, Sag. Somebody wants to commit to you heavy. Don't don't get worked up. Do not get worked up. Because, yeah, something... Ugh, I just got tongue twisted. This person is tongue twisted over you. They're very passionate about you. They really want you to be theirs. They just don't know how to really show it because look at they're they're kind of they're kind of like on the immature side when it comes to emotions. They don't really know how to express, but they know how to show it through sex though. They know how to show it through, you know, love. I'm hearing like they know how to show it in the bedroom with the 3 of cups celebratory energy. Somebody could have walked away from a third party to want to come towards you too. So, yeah, with the magician card, they want to take action towards you sad so don't be afraid don't be afraid to let your guard down a lot of you guys are very financially independent they see how financially independent you are they don't really want you for your money a lot of you Sagittarians may think that somebody wants you for your success or for your money but at the end of the day I do truly feel like they they it, they may have even came off that they probably wanted you for your money, so it turns you off. But spirit is saying they got they got everything that they need on their own. They want to just come. They want to add more passionate energy into your life. This could be another fire sign wanting to come towards you too, um, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, a lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy coming towards you, and then we got the Star card and then the Seven of Pentacles. So this is an investment. A long-term investment, a long-term partnership that you could allow yourself to uh, indulge into. 717 just showed up. And Spirit is saying very passionate energy is coming towards your way. They said don't get let down. Don't don't get so discouraged so easily, so quick. Because a lot of you got a lot of you fire signs, and especially Sagittarians, our fire get burnt out very quick. We get burnt out very quick. If we don't get an instant connection with somebody, if we don't feel that instant spark with somebody, we always tend to um, get turned off very fast and kind of like walk away from a connection, even if it um, is not serving us as quick as we want it to. Yeah. See, the devil, don't let don't let intrusive thoughts and insecurities get in the way. And on another hand, somebody is is thinking very obsessively about you, Sagittarius. Somebody cannot stop thinking about you. They don't know what to do anymore because of how much you basically um, have separated yourself from this person, and they don't know really what to do because at this point, you're you're taking up all like you're taking up a lot of space in their life at this time, and they're planning on reaching out to you with the two of wands. They want to come forward. They want to express, but there is something stopping them, Spirit. What is stopping them? Anger, and ego and anger, I just heard. But let's see what's stopping them, spirit. High priestess, they, okay. Yeah, five of wands, anger. They got, tr okay. I'm hearing family members too. A lot of them are having issues with other people in their life at this time, controlling them and telling them what to do. Yes, somebody's person has people in their ear controlling them, telling them what to do, but they're finally waking up with the moon card. I'm hearing that they they also have tapped into psychic abilities, psychic psychic mediumship. They could have gotten a reading done by a psychic. A high priestess card just showed a a high priestess is here to, to show you that this person could have gotten a reading done by a high priestess energy and they kind of like show them their power and now they're having to fight off these energies that's, that actually got in the way of y'all connection. So it's going to happen very soon though. We got the world card. So they, they, they are completing a cycle right now. Let's see the time frame for those of you who are looking for when they will reach out. Okay. All right, Spirit, when do you see this person reaching out to this Sagittarian collective? For those, for some of you, when will this person reach out? Plan for the long term. This person is planning 
when they reach out, they're planning to be with you long term. Some of you guys, this person may reach out within a year. Ooh, five years, nine months. Okay, what I'm getting here is that a lot of you, you guys as masculines are in some karmic contracts. Somebody here is in a karmic contract. They could be either trying to divorce somebody. They could even be stuck with a baby mama drama. I'm also seeing somebody possibly caught up on parole. I'm hearing like jail time. It could also be somebody who is actually like in school and may need some time to like actually focus on their schoolwork or even their job. Their job could be far away. It could be, yeah, yeah, six years. A lot of these, it's a long time. It's not even, yeah, like there's nothing, nothing, nothing sooner than that. It's showing up here for some of y'all's masculines coming forward. A decade. Like, look at that. What I'm getting here is that some of y'all need to focus on yourself. And when the time will come. Wow, why is it so long? It's like I can't even pull anything sooner. Spirit is like, wow. Okay, Spirit said it's either now or never. That's why it's like looking, that's why the time frame is looking so freak fucked up. Now or never, Spirit is saying, because who's going to wait this long? Sagittarian energy is not going to, nah. Sagittarians are not going to wait this long. Hell nah, yeah. The time frame, they're saying now or never. They better come forward now or they'll never get their chance with you because five years from now, you could even be, you could be having your first child with somebody else. Six years from now, you probably moved on to hear something else with your life. A lot of these masculines, they bet. This is a warning sign for some of y'all masculines who are watching this video. If you are inquiring about a Sagittarian energy, this is your sign. Now or never. You either get it together now and reach out now and get and, and get your shit together now and reach out to this feminine, or you don't never get the chance to see her again because between now, look it, a lot of y'all want to plan for the long term, but y'all got to understand that this Sagittarian energy is not going to be here forever and wait on y'all forever. That's what I got from this energy because who going to wait that long? I'm a Sagittarian myself. I'm not going to wait that long for nobody. Yeah. A lot of y'all may even get pregnant and have a baby by the time that this person try to come forward and be with you. Like, uh-uh, you can't wait that long, my buddy. Yeah, so 10 days, expect some type of contact from somebody. Within 10 days, expect some sort of contact from somebody. 72 hours, somebody, I feel like somebody may try to look at your account that is interested in you and may want to speak to you. But other than that, yeah, spirit is like, uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. But yeah, let's see. What message does spirit have for the Sagittarians? Level up. Queen Ya Asantua. So, this is your season, Sag. Now or never, it's time to level up. It's time to get it all the way together. Storms. A lot of you guys have, went, have been to hell and back. But Spirit is saying that that was to help you grow. Divine lineage. A lot of you Sagittarians have came from a divine bloodline. A, a bloodline that is ancient, can't nobody, everybody can't have access to you, Sag. Everybody just can't have access to you. A lot of you guys have been wounded, but you guys are healers. A lot of you guys are manifestors. A lot of you guys are, I'm hearing water signs are watching this video too. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. A lot of you guys may have even water signs in your in your chart, but you you are you are identified with Sag placements as well. But um, Spirit is basically saying, yeah, it's your, your time is now. Don't wait on nobody to come forward. Don't wait on nobody to save you. You have to save yourself. And spirit is he is like heavily emphasizing on leveling up regardless because your blessings are here now. Don't fumble the bag. Don't fumble these opportunities that you have around you. Your person, your person has to get right with spirit and get right with the highest of the highest power. Before they can come forward with you. To come forward to you. So that's your reading for today, Sage. Have a beautiful day.